This tutorial shows how to work with the slope stability program. In the beginning, we have to define the ranges of our example. This is done in the frame interface by pressing the button Ranges, which opens a dialog window where the ranges are set. In our example, we will use 0 to 45 meters. The next step is to input the shape of the terrain and layers. This can be done in two ways. The first option is to use the mouse and input all the points graphically. It is also possible to input the exact coordinates by using the Input Textuality button. This is especially important when a certain shape of wall or other structures are being inputted. An arbitrary number of layers can be added. Now it is necessary to define the soils. This was already explained in detail in other video tutorial, so we will skip this part. We have defined two soils, which we will now assign into our profile. Depending on your example, it is now possible to input anchors, reinforcements or water. When everything is ready, proceed to the analysis. We will now input a slip surface and perform the analysis. As you can see, the slope stability is acceptable, however this was not calculated for the worst possible case. Therefore, it is necessary to select optimization and the program will automatically find the worst possible slip surface. So when we run the analysis, we see that the slope stability is not satisfactory. To solve this problem, we can introduce, for example, anchors. Input the anchor force, in our case 50 kN, and run the analysis again. As you can see, the slope stability is now acceptable. Finally, we can run the analysis again with polygonal slip surface. As you can see, analysis of slope stability in the Geo5 software is a question of just a few minutes. More information can be found in other video tutorials, online help, engineering manuals and verification manuals. Should you have any questions, please contact our support team.